Hi viewers, today we are going to learn how to create this three dot. Actually, this three dot option is very useful for uh, creating privacy policy uh, share and uh, writers that kind of option if you want to put privacy policy is mandatory if you are publishing on the admo. Okay. So and also we will learn how to centralize our app name here. Okay. So let's go to the video. Let's create a new project. Go to file, new. Click on new project. Choose empty activity. Click next. Here you can type your uh, app name. I just give app demo. Then you click finish. Let's wait a while. We go to resource layout main activity dot main XML. Let's change this to relative layout. Okay. Make it center. Yes, here. Now let's add one layout. Let's name it in toolbar. Oh, my toolbar. Okay. Press on the app name. This is the app name. This is I'm doing only for uh, aligning the app name on the center. Okay. So this will come our app name on the center. Next step, we have to create a menu directory here yeah, on the new add resource directory. Choose here menu. That's it. Click OK. Our menu is created here. So we have to create one one what one XML file here. Menu resource file. Okay, let's name it menu. So it's here now. Here we have to create what are the menu we require. Okay, let's create some item. Android title this will be the title what you want to show there you can see privacy policies android id you can see you can type privacy or any id you what you want second one item android title can type like share Android ID share okay for testing I'm doing only two items if you want how many items you want to add you can add it's better to create a string file here so it will be this warning will go okay so just uh, press Alt Enter, it will add automatically. Okay. Now this line is okay. Now the share we are creating the string. String press Alt to press Enter, then Enter on the extract string resource. Then it will show you this main options. Then just click OK. So this warning will 
disappear then you, you will create two string is created here okay or you can create this one here manually then you can link here my toolbar here can use the include layout my toolbar okay then just give a id so it will be easy toolbar one i just give toolbar one okay and close now this one this uh, my toolbar is included here see it's there what then what is next is we have to theme on the theme we have to change the theme sometimes by default this this is the app theme by default it won't allow on the title bar there so we need to change theme accordingly so create another theme for easy purpose i am doing like this just to copy this one copy this paste here change theme name okay theme name you can change anything i just give my theme okay here we can instead of dark change to light light no action bar okay here above item name you can create window action bar in the action bar we can set to false we don't need action bar and again one more we can create item name window not title we don't need the title so it should be true okay that's it now we have to apply this theme go to android manifest change here to my theme that's it okay now so for the toolbar we need some coding section here so here so in this area i am doing some coding for a toolbar let's define toolbar Action bar. That is all. Turn on. Okay, this one. That's it. And after this one, we need to declare some. We need to create some function in order to click the op options. One create option menu. Okay. This one. Let's make some changes here. Return to here. We can get menu inflator. The inflator r dot menu dot. What is your menu? Menu name. We give the name menu. Okay. on options item selector okay this one on options item selector choose this one here 
here we can also return true before that one need something so basically we are getting the id of each option the id equal to item one item dot get item id so if we choose privacy policy that id will come in this integer or share button it will come here okay if you have more if you have more than one or two this is the best method here you can uh, use switch switch id okay here we can do like case suppose r dot id dot action so we have given the name privacy policy right what we have here id name privacy and share okay so privacy if we choose privacy what will happen here we, we can code what you want to happen basically if you want to create an indent indent where is indent okay indent indent equal to new indent okay here you can type indent again dot option so we kept it option underscore view okay comma you are you are not pass sorry not you are you are so what happened you are i dot pass here you can type where is your privacy policy okay web address located okay example your website address you place your uh, privacy policy there okay suppose let's okay let's do what run logic local then you can press call start activity internet so basically when you click on the privacy option it will go to this entire site address okay only we finished only one case and the second case okay second case r dot okay let's copy paste for easy purpose copy paste here we can change our button id to share if you choose share what will happen you can be share or what what are the action you want to be done you can code here okay for testing i am doing here this one or what we do this code not semi code Expected two, but found one. What is this error? Please we skip this one here. Menu. Okay. Then the two parameters inside here. Sorry for that. Okay, now error is gone. We have done our coding part, so we can uh, run the app now and see how it is come. Before that, for the toolbar, see let's change its background color. Let's uh, primary. Okay, you can change whatever the color you prefer. Okay. Okay. Now let's run the app. Let's 
see this is game two type y okay one is this one suppose i deleted this one okay i run the app again automatically we actually we don't need to type this text here because by default app name will come there see so if you click the three dot if you click the privacy policy it will go to uh, and it will go to that site okay so basically if you want to redirect your privacy policy url by this way you can be done Okay, let's let's revert our changes. Now this is game on center. Okay, and if we go to stream. Right, on the wall. Okay, using this way you can name what are the name you suggest or what name you want to show there. I need a space here. So come back here. So what? You want to show here? You can add here. Okay, now it's good. And from here, let's do bit support action bar. Okay, don't set display. Set display show title. Okay. This one said display show title enabled. We can make it false. Now here one warning is game C, one warning is game. So it's depend upon your uh, Android version. Just click Alt Enter and replace with it. Click here. So again we come here again Alt Enter. It's my minimum. SDK version it will not come on here uh, because my minimum version is I have reduced 70. If you change this to higher version, that error that warning will not come. It's not an error. Okay, let's run it again. Let's see now how it will look like. Run again. Okay. See. By default, what is coming? The app name it is gone. Now only this one. Share and privacy policies. Okay. I hope you learned something informative. And thank you. Please do comment your suggestions.